a monarch, a creator, and a real-life father to a director in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. These actors, though no longer with us, have left enduring performances in the superhero cinematic landscape of the 1990s. Before Tobey Maguire took on the role of Spider-Man and the inception of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, comic fans seeking content had to settle for productions like the low-budget adaptation of Captain America in 1992. In this film, Matt Salinger, son of the renowned and inclusive author J.D. Salinger, portrayed Steve Rogers, with Darren McGavin playing the notable role of General Fleming, a World War II-era military figure. McGavin, a familiar face in mainstream movies and television since the 1950s, had diverse roles, including his part in Captain America, although he left behind more memorable roles upon his death in 2006 at the age of 83. Chadwick Boseman, before joining the Marvel Cinematic Universe, gained prominence with his portrayal of Jackie Robinson in 42 and other historical figures in biopics. His breakthrough came with Captain America Civil War, where he debuted as Tala, the young king of Wakanda, later becoming the iconic Black Panther. Bozeman's stardom soared with Black Panther in 2018, but tragically, he succumbed to colon cancer in August 2020. Despite his untimely death, his impact on the Marvel Cinematic Universe was honored in Black Panther Wakanda Forever. Released in 2022, passing on the mantle of Black Panther to his sister Shuri, played by Letitia Wright. In January 2023, the entertainment industry mourned the loss of Annie Waring, known for her roles in shows like 24 and Timeless, as well as her contributions to The Last of Us video game. Her final TV role was in Star Trek Picard as the Borg Queen. Waring battled cancer privately and passed away in 2023, leaving her unable to make a guest appearance in HBO's TV adaptation of The Last of Us. Ray Stevenson, familiar to Marvel fans for his role as Frank Castle the Punisher, joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe in 2011's Thor as Volstagg, a Guardian Warrior. Despite reprising his role in Thor The Dark World and Thor Ragnarok, Stevenson's last appearance in the Marvel Cinematic Universe was in the latter film, where his character met his demise at the hands of Hela. Stevenson passed away in May 2023, after a sudden hospitalization during filming in Italy, making a posthumous appearance in the Disney series Ahsoka. James Cobby portrayed two distinct Marvel characters in major motion pictures. Later, he took on a more substantial role as Jessica Jones' father, Brian Jones, in the TV series, although his appearance was limited to a single episode due to his character's demise in a car accident prior to the events of the show. Throughout the series, flashbacks reveal Brian's character as insecure and plagued by arrogance about his masculinity, traits that ultimately lead to the fatal accident which grants superpowers to his wife and daughter, haunting Jessica thereafter. Sadly, Cobby passed away in February 2018, with his final notable roles in TV series including Empire and Chicago PD. Similarly, Michael Lerner, who passed away in April 2023 at the age of 81, left behind a legacy in the entertainment industry. Notably, he received a Best Supporting Actor nomination at the 1992 Academy Awards for his role as Jack Leipnick in Barton Fink. Additionally, he played a significant part as Mr. Greenway in the 2003 holiday film Elf. Lerner's entry into the Marvel Universe occurred in 2014's X-Men Days of Future Past, where he portrayed U.S. Senator Brickman, a character pivotal in the plot to suspend funding for the Boulevard Trask Sentinel program. Regrettably, this role marked one of Lerner's final appearances in major productions, with only a few other films such as Ashby in 2015 and the 2019 Netflix mockumentary Frankenstein's Monster's Monster, Frankenstein following thereafter. Moving to familial connections within the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 featured Jim Gunn Sr. and Leota Gunn, parents of the film's writer and director, James Gunn. The couple appeared as extras on Earth in the movie, 
adding a personal touch to the scene. Gunn Sr. passed away in 2019, further emphasizing the film's themes of fatherhood, particularly poignant since Gunn Sr. physically appeared in the movie. He was honored in the credits of the subsequent installment, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, alongside other Marvel Studios crew members. Transitioning to the impactful legacy of Stan Lee, the co-creator of iconic Marvel Comics characters like Spider-Man and the Fantastic Four, his influence on the superhero genre is immeasurable. Throughout his career, Lee revolutionized storytelling in comics, imbuing characters with depth and humanity. His pioneering work laid the foundation for modern superhero narratives, shaping popular culture for generations to come. Beyond his creative genius, Lee's charismatic personality and advocacy for inclusivity left an indelible mark on fans worldwide. His numerous cameos in films based on his characters became a trademark of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, delighting audiences with his appearances. Following the passing of his beloved wife Joan in 2017, Lee's own death in 2018 marked the end of an era spurring tributes and mourning across the globe. Despite his physical absence, Lee's spirit lives on through his timeless creations and the enduring legacy of the Marvel Universe. His posthumous appearances in the MCU, notably in Captain Marvel and Avengers Endgame, serve as poignant reminders of his enduring influence and continue to honor his contributions to the world of entertainment and beyond. Meanwhile, William Hurt, celebrated for his illustrious career predating his involvement in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. MCU marked his initial foray into the franchise with his portrayal of General Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross in 2008's The Incredible Hulk, commanding a presence that spanned multiple MCU films, including Captain America Civil War and Avengers Infinity War, Hurt's depiction of Ross remained a notable and integral part of the cinematic universe. Remarkably, despite contending with terminal prostate cancer, Hurt exhibited unwavering dedication to his craft, culminating in his poignant final appearance as Ross in Black Widow in 2021. Regrettably, the acclaimed actor's journey came to an end, and his last theatrical role was posthumously realized in The King's Daughter, released in January 2022. In stark contrast to Hurt's circumstances, Marvel has opted to recast the character of Thunderbolt Ross for upcoming MCU films following the actor's passing. This decision not only pays homage to the character's significance, but also ensures the continuation of the narrative with a seasoned and celebrated actor like Harrison Ford. Fans can anticipate a new chapter in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Ford brings his iconic presence to the portrayal of Thunderbolt Ross. On a somber note, the entertainment industry mourned the tragic loss of Lucy Gordon in 2009, a promising talent in Hollywood. Before the release of her final film, Gainsbourg, A Heroic Life, Lucy had already established herself with notable appearances in various films and had even ventured into the world of modeling. Despite her young age, her untimely death at 28 sent shockwaves through the industry, leaving a void that resonated deeply with her colleagues and fans alike. Lucy Gordon's passing serves as a poignant reminder of the fragility of mental health and the pressing need for adequate support within the demanding world of show business. Her legacy endures through her contributions to the arts, while her story underscores the importance of addressing mental health challenges and fostering a supportive environment for those navigating the complexities of the entertainment industry.